Hi there. Oh, welcome to my views and news. Viewers, uh, tonight we'll have a live chat at uh, the given time, which I announced in community section in a post a few hours ago at uh, seventeen thirty GMT. We'll have this live chat. Looking forward to see you there with your questions, your comments. People have been contacting me saying, Sajid, we're missing live chats. So resume live chats. We're resuming live chats from today. Off and on, we'll have live chats now. Two new stories. First one, both are from Tegarai. Firstly, TPLF Tegarai, People Liberation Front, is going to hold a meeting tomorrow on Saturday, which TPLF group, where will the meeting be held? And secondly, Gita Choreda Tegara, interim president, spoke about the withdrawal of Ethiopian military from Ethiopia Eritrea border. He is the president of the region. Is he unaware of what is happening? What is federal government's plan? Why is that federal forces retreated or they were repositioned? Uh, they were relocated uh, from a place on Tegarai Rartia border. Let's start uh, with the first new story, which is about TPL of Tegarai, People's Liberation Front. Uh, which is uh, Tigray's largest political party. It was the most influential political party in Ethiopia too from 1991 till 2018. After that, it was restricted to Tigray only. And now in Tigray, it has split into TPLF Gita Choreda Wing and TPLF Debratsian faction. TPLF Gita Choreda Wing is mainly based in Southern Tegarai, parts of eastern, southeastern Tegarai, parts of central Tegarai too, while the TPL of Debratsian group is based in northwestern Tegarai, northern Tegarai, parts of central Tegarai too. A few days ago, Gitacho tried to hold a public meeting in Shire, northwest zone of Tegarai. TPL of the Bratzian wing stronghold, but TPL of the Bratzian supporters disrupted that meeting. Gitacho had to leave abruptly from the meeting. Now, TPL of plans to hold a meeting tomorrow. TPL of the Bratzian wing, it will meet in Makale, Tegarai's capital, the seat of Tegarai interim government where Tegarai interim president uh, sits. TPLF Debratsian has announced in a post today uh, that it will hold a meeting in Makale on Saturday. TPLF Debratsian is allowed to meet, to hold meetings in Makale, but TPLF Gitacho is not allowed to hold meetings in uh, northwestern, northern Tegarai. One of the reasons is that TPL of the Bratzian is holding indoor meetings, no public involvement, only party level meetings are being held. Gitacho is trying to hold public discussions. That is why his meetings are being disrupted. But tomorrow is crucial. Let's see. Uh, Gitacho government, I think. Uh, will ultimately take action on TPL Debratsian because the Debratsian wing has made it clear that it wants to remove Gitacho government. Gitacho said two days ago that uh, uh, the Bratzian group wanted to remove him from government bar force. If they meet in Makale, if they organize themselves in Makale, obviously they could be planning to remove Gitacho, Gitacho's government. And they have the backing of military too, I think. Without military, military support, they cannot hold meetings in Makale. Makale mayor, I think, supports TPLF, if I'm not wrong. But the Vetsin wing. Where they 
though he's as his neutral, but he facilitated the holding of the adverse in Congress in Macaulay. Had he imposed a ban on that TPL of Congress, it could not, uh, uh, it wouldn't have been possible to hold it. But the meeting, the Congress was held because uh, where they allowed it to be held. Once again, tomorrow crucial. Let's see, we'll do it tomorrow. What will TPLF do? Will it challenge Gitacho right in Makale? Will Gitacho try to ban this meeting? Uh, how will Gitacho implement his orders? Are security forces under his control? I don't think so. Where are they is taking an independent position on Tegara's political conflict? Where they won't take orders from Gitacho? Gitacho is becoming insignificant gradually. Either TPLF wants to force him to resign by making him insignificant or uh, TPLF uh, is hoping that it will remove Gitacho by force. Let's see. Secondly, yours, Gitacho, as I said earlier, uh, is gradually becoming insignificant in Tegara, though he is the interim president. He is backing off uh, federal government too. But his writ is very weak now. It does not know what is happening on Tegararity, a border where federal forces retreated from uh, a place. Gita Choreda responded to reports about Iran military setting up check posts 30 40 kilometers away from Adigrat uh, near Zalambasa. Uh, and he confirmed that Ethiopian national defense or federal forces were relocated from the area. After that, Eritrean military tried to fill in the vacuum. Eritrean military set up a checkpoint. Basically, Zilambasa is under Eritrean military control largely for years. For more than two years, I think. But ENDF was deployed here. Now, federal forces have left the area. Gitacho confirmed that federal forces have left the area, but uh, he said he did not have any information why federal forces left the area. But he said that uh, he would uh, keep on calling for the withdrawal of uh, uh, forces from Tegarai, Eritrean military, etc., from Tegarai. So it means that even Gitacho was not taken on board when federal forces were redeployed from Zilambasa front to some other front. Will Gitacho get backing, uh, backing of federal forces in case of an indirect confrontation between his group and the Western Wing? Difficult to say. It seems that uh, federal government will see how strong Gitacho is. If Gitacho loses his uh, influence, his position, his powers, I don't think federal government will be able in a position will be able to back Gitacho. Rather. They'll have to abandon Gitacho. Gitacho could be ditched by the federal government, I believe. Because he does not know why federal forces are retreating from Zalambasa. He's not allowed to hold a public discussion forum in Shere, in his stronghold, uh, in his uh, regional capital where he's based, TPLF is holding meetings. Only eastern, southern, southern parts are under his control, his government's control, his party's, uh, his wing, TPLF wing's control. But he is the interim president of the entire Tagarai. Can he ensure that uh, his government? Uh, uh, is in a position to implement orders across Tegara. That remains to be seen. Overall, I think Itacho is gradually becoming insignificant. Thank you.